I'm gonna take a shower. You could probably use one. <laughs> Why are you so mean? No reason. Every season I have a favorite character that I'm sort of drawn to, and this year it's, um, it's Monica. Well, I think it's cruel. Well, that's why I don't do it to you. There's such a goodness to Monica, a deep goodness, that Beth does not see in herself. Well, I don't need to be treated differently just because I lost a child. Yeah, you do. Beth's gear is put up a wall. I can crush anyone. And she chooses not to crush Monica. And it's partly because she just looks at her and sees something really pure and beautiful. I'm going to tell you something. I haven't told anybody, so just keep this between us. Beth tells her that she understands how she's feeling, and they share a loss and grief. I know how you feel, because I felt it. There's a sisterhood in them and a, and a, and a deep empathy in Beth for her. So when I say that I am sorry, Monica, I really mean it. It's something that really speaks to Monica because it makes her not afraid of the loneliness. Thank you. Beth is different when she's engaging with Monica. I keep it inside because of all the people knowing it would hurt. To be able to sh open up and share that with someone and then put the wall back up. Anyway, that's not why I'm mean. I was a real fucking bitch before it happened. It brings out the heart and the soul in everyone else. Well, you're very good at it. I try. Three cameras. Camera set. Bravo, Mark. And action. Tom. Senator? Thanks for coming. The senator and Rainwater have a discussion about there are gas pipelines coming through Montana. Oh, by the way, they're going through your reservation. The Secretary of the Interior was here with the president two days ago. They mentioned nothing. Our backs are kind of against a wall. This is what we can do. Make a statement, make some noise, and maybe we can get this out of here because she does not want a pipeline coming through Montana. The pipeline runs beneath our reservoir. Yes. Our drinking water. If our water becomes polluted, more and more health issues would be knocking on our doors. Not just the reservation, but for all people. And so we have to protect that. They don't think we'll put up a fight? We can't put up a fight. Federal government doesn't need our permission. So it's the same battles, different people. You said the press conference. Stand with the people this affects. Standing beside you in solidarity is declaring my support for you as much as it is opposing a pipeline. Well, I kill two birds with one stone. Deal. She's got her eye on all of those things, how everything reflects back to her politically as well. Be good to have the governor there. Well, governor's playing hooky. Branding cattle. I was requesting that she bring him because she has a personal relationship with him. He's our governor too. Perhaps you could remind him of that. So it's another chess game because they don't want a pipeline running through their state either. Sounds made. Just roll in front of the camera. Action. 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 Oh shit, this ain't gonna be good. There's some livestock issues that come up that really happen on ranches. Let me guess, you found a stillborn bison. Two. Why would that happen? Brucellosis, Clara. If any part of your herd gets sick, they'll give it to the entire herd, and then they'll give it to other herds. Found something you're gonna wanna see. We found it too. It's something where they have to like nip in the bud right away. One cow has it. The state destroys the whole herd. It's what makes ranching so hard. The variables are so great. John comes up with an idea to take the herd somewhere else so they're not around these bison that they've found who have it. Half the herd needs to go somewhere with a mild winter. And that means you've got to split up the ranch a little bit. If half the herd goes, who watches them? <laughs> what do you think, Casey? That's what John expects of him. But it's my responsibility as the ranch manager. So it's just that simple. I'll go with the herd. Yeah, there's a lot of anxiety going with that. Not, not just John, all of us. I don't know that me and Rip have ever been apart since he came to the ranch that long. You four are coming with me. Where? Somewhere where it doesn't snow in the winter. Ryan easily could have said, listen, can I just stay? I just feel like I want to be here. And Rip might have been disappointed, but he had the out. Ryan, 
I want you to tell me right now if this is going to be a problem. It wasn't a decision about her. It was about him. It was about Ryan. Who are you? What do you need to be completed? It's nothing I'd rather do. So thank you for the chance. You got it. Do you have to lease the land? Yeah. How much will that cost? 1.4 a month. What I don't think people out there really understand is that can bring somebody to their knees financially. It can end them. I'll take a loan. Why don't you just sell them all now? We sell them all now. We have no income next year. We don't have any income this year. You're seeing people really trying to hold it together. But their way of life is changing. So to sustain it and protect it, Things have to change. This is what you get your loan for. The cash flow is impossible, honey, and nobody can figure out the packer. They figure it out the packer. Beth is starting to get laser focus about how to help me. You are not a businessman, Daddy. You are a rancher. I am a businessman. And I have spent my career making $100 million deals for others. Now I'm going to make one for you. She sees things in such a reality that he perhaps doesn't. Camera set. Action! Put the land in a conservation easement, Jamie. State's gonna go bankrupt. Fuck! It changes his whole sort of inner dynamic. Sounds like an impeachable offense to me. Yes, it does. By suggesting John's impeachments, Sarah does a great job of tapping into what is really going on inside. We're fully committed to your election. Our PAC will fund it. She's got the money to give it strength. This is your chance to become governor. The impeachment, it's a thing that Sarah has latched onto as the answer or the way in. It then reveals that Jamie's plotting. His actions have exposed Montana to litigation that will cost the state billions more. We haven't seen it before in Jamie. We haven't seen somebody who's actually going, no, 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 you can do this. I call on this assembly for a vote to impeach. Go crush him. I'll get what I want, you'll get what you want, and we can be together. What do you think? I think it's perfect. 